I got started when I was 16 and I saw Ronda Rousey fight Betch Cohea and I remember I was hooked when I saw her walk out. I didn't even have to see her fight and I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I think Ronda was the first woman I saw that had um, like real ambition in her eyes. I didn't know that women could do things like Ronda did and um, I don't know, I think that she's the first woman that really inspired me to actually do something. I saw the look in her eyes, you know, I saw she had purpose, she had, like, she was going to get something done, you know, and I think that made me be like, you know, I've never been like that with something in my life, so, like, maybe if I give this a try, like, I'll have a purpose, I'll have something to work for, you know? Well, I grew up playing softball, so um, I remember I went to a local gym in Fullerton and, and during the first day, like, I was hooked. I did a Muay Thai class and I remember that next day I was like, I don't want to play softball anymore. Um, I was supposed to go to Harvard for softball um, and I fell in love with fighting and nothing else mattered to me at that point. So I dropped everything and I haven't missed a day since. Um, I started martial arts knowing that I wanted to be a professional fighter. So I think that's the difference with this new generation. I think, I don't know, a lot of these girls that started earlier, I think they, they fought because they loved to fight. But I don't know if they necessarily started knowing, like, like I knew when I stepped on the mats from my very first day that I wanted to be the UFC champion. You know what I mean? And I think that's a new generation thing. I don't, it wasn't possible for women to hold a belt like that. You know what I mean? So I think we're very fortunate now that we can look up to like, I remember when I started, I started training at CSW and um, Shayna Baszler and Jessamyn Duke were there. And I remember watching them and I was like, oh my gosh, like that's crazy. Like they fight, like I used to watch their fights. And um, I just think it's cool. You know what I mean? We're in a different place this time around. And we're lucky that people like, like Jessamyn and Shayna and people like that paved that way and we get to start with the dream of being a champion, not just just going out there to fight, you know what I mean? First round finish, I was the youngest fighter to ever fight and win in Invicta, first round armbar. I was so ecstatic and then like, I, I got brought down a peg, you know what I mean? It's almost like I needed it. It's funny because I remember Cal saying before my last fight, she was like, oh, I know sometimes you have to get broken down in order to get that build back up. And I never believed that. I was like, oh, whatever. But like, I understand what she means because that fight was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Even though at the moment, I probably wouldn't have said that. But I feel like after that fight, like I realized like, I'm not taking any fight for granted anymore. You know what I mean? Like, not that I was like meaning to take the last fight for granted, but I feel like it's like a reality check that I needed. So um, I bounced back from um, the Cal fight and I've had three pro boxing fights. Um, so I went pro as boxer and I, uh, I've been doing a lot of grappling tournaments. I've been, I'm like a whole different fighter now. I'm not even the same athlete I was in my last fight with Invicta. So I'm excited to showcase that. Um, you know, I think she's a tough girl. Um, I think she's definitely one of the tougher girls in Invicta. But I think she has this persona um, that she brings that she thinks she's very unbeatable which is, um, I've had a taste of that, you know what I mean? Like I had this, I always knew that I could be beat, obviously, but um, I think she needs a little little bit of humble pie, in my opinion. Um, she is talented, she hits hard, you know? She's a good fighter, she's a strong girl, but she, I just think she has this persona about her that she needs to, to you know, tone it down a bit. Everyone's beatable, I mean, and I, th I don't think she realizes that. I'm always in the gym, I'm always working. There's never a time when I like I take time off or like I don't I feel like especially now since I'm I'm young, I feel like I don't need time off. I've had a lot of coaches in the past tell me like, oh slow down, you have so much time and it's like why would I slow down if if I can't? You know what I mean? If I can keep going, why would I slow down? Like my body's not gonna be able to do what I want it to do in ten years. So um, I've just I've been just going nonstop. I'm in class every night, whether it's striking, grappling, clinch work drilling technique, I'm, I'm at, at the gym all the time. I think I'm going to showcase, like I said, I'm a different fighter than when I was, when I fought for you guys last. Um, so 
So you guys are gonna see a different athlete for sure. I don't want. I want to fight the Cal Schwartz. You know what I mean, I want to fight the the Rose Namajunas. I want to fight those people. So I mean, I think in order to to get the gold, you have to go through the gauntlet. So I mean, that's the ultimate. That's the ultimate goal right there.